For the past nine years or so, isekais has sat on the top of the food chain, having the largest quantity of shows produced on a seasonal basis. Just look at this winter's season. Granted, there is an Attack on Titan Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen movie coming as well, but that's besides the point. There are so many shows that seem to have the same reproduced plot of, oh my life is so lame, I wish I could be transported to another world and do cool things. And then bam, MC transports to another world and does cool things. This storyline trend has been getting kicks like a dead horse ever since Sword Art Online popularized it. I mean, sure, it, it's kind of good and has a dedicated fan base, but I can just imagine the writers taking notes after they all watch SAO. That, that tentacle part really seemed to captivate the audience. Maybe we need to get in on this. Jokes aside, there are isekais that I do like. For instance, Konosuba is one of my all-time favorites, which the show went for a more satirical approach to the genre. It's shows that try to revolutionize the isekai norm that, in my opinion, are the ones that stick around. But when you've got garbage like this coming out every season... Something needs to change. So today, let's take a look at why isekai is a subgenre waiting to die out and what could be the next potential trend in the anime industry for the coming years. So the biggest reason behind why I do not usually enjoy isekai shows is the amount of overuse that stems from the genre. In the past two years, there has been 25 shows released, all that share the same isekai concept. 25, you heard that right. Just imagine how saturated the light novel industry is right now since they don't have as big as a paywall to scale as anime. Now some of those were actually good shows, many are the same predictable plot that we all know and love. Joking. What remains the problem is not that the isekai concept was a bad idea, the problem lies in the excess quantity of shows in the genre that are being produced, which ends up leading to a lower quality overall in those shows. The genre loses its uniqueness when there's five or more shows each season all with a similar plot concept. The only thing I believe that can save the genre from dying out is a change in its place in the industry. Writers and producers need to drop the money ball that is isekai and find the next trend to beat to death. A new trend wouldn't just save the isekai genre from dying out, but also breathe much needed life into the industry. It's getting old, let me tell you. I'm sure I'm not the first person on YouTube to have a video ranting about how overused isekai is. Trends in any industry are meant to die out. They're there for, I don't know, give or take three or five years, and then something else becomes the next big thing. But what exactly does that mean for the anime industry? Well, for starters, the isekai trend has been around for about nine years, which is almost double the usual length you'd see in a pop culture media trend. This most likely makes it one of the longest trends in the industry. There are pros and cons to the longer lifespan of the isekai trend, though. A pro would be the fact that it's a relatively safe concept from a producer's standpoint. You know, there's an audience out there that enjoys this stuff, so why stop making it? But this could also be seen as a con as well. If producers see a safe way to make a lot of money, they're less likely to take the risk on shows that tread from the norm, which may be a reason we see so many isekai shows. Basically, for a studio, it could be a nice way to a payday. But that's not to say that there aren't studios out there taking risks. Look at MAPPA. MAPPA took the risk of fan backlash when they took in the Attack on Titan for season four, when which studio could no longer handle it. In that very same year, they released Jujutsu Kaisen, which would take the shonen fanbase by storm. If you thought that was enough, fuck you, because MAPPA's taking it one step further this year, releasing not only part two, of Attack on Titan's final season, but also the anticipated Chainsaw Man and a Jujutsu Kaisen movie. And MAPPA isn't alone in this journey of making quality shows. Foldable has been dominating the anime movie department with the Demon Slayer movie and the Fates Have Been Feel trilogy. That is not to say they lack in shows though. They're releasing the new season of Demon Slayer as we speak. Well, these two studios are the best known for quality anime. They are not alone. There are many studios out there that are working hard to make as great a product as they can. So what was my point in sharing this information? Well, honestly, I think they hold the answer to what the next big trend in anime might be. We've seen various trends throughout our lifetime, and most of the time, there are many trends popular at any given time. Sports anime can be considered a trend, as well as the shonen genre as a whole. What we aren't focused on, though, are the trends that are already set in stone. For example, shonen anime has already been established for years now as a major trend. It's not a new fad to like shows about fighting and action. But when Isekai was introduced, it was the next big thing, a new fad, so to speak. So to be the next big thing in the industry in the sense of what I'm talking about, it must create a new big revolution in the industry that because of its existence, the market recognizes it and takes it into account when making and adapting new shows. Moe anime was a 2000s trend of making characters, especially women, look cute and adorable. It was a new revolutionary concept and completely changed the industry. But that's 
as a topic for another video. So those are my qualifications for what I consider the next big thing. So let me just say what I believe it is. One trend that is up and coming, more to speak, is anime movies. While yes, anime movies have been around for a while, thanks to the success like Mugen Train and the Fate Stay Night movies in America, I've noticed some theaters are showing more anime movies new and old. This summer, I got the chance to see Weathering With You, as theaters near me were having a week-long showing. In the past, this almost would never happen. You'd be lucky to see a Ghibli film at most in America. But that seems to be changing. This winter, not only is a Jujutsu Kaisen movie releasing in theaters, but also the rom-com quintessential quintuples is getting a movie. Yeah. A rom-com anime is getting a movie to release in theaters. That leads to my overall new genre trend that I think we might see overtake isekai, rom-coms. Look, I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of romance anime, okay? A big fan? That stuff makes you feel some type of way, I just can't help it. I think it's apparent though that rom-coms are having quite the influence on the industry if they feel that a rom-com anime is a good approach to make money. This is exactly what I'm talking about with studios taking risks. The Quintuplets is a pretty good show, as well as popular. It took over my Instagram Discover page for about a solid few months, and this show isn't alone in the charge. Love is War is another super popular rom-com that I can confirm actually made me laugh. Who would have thought rom-coms could actually be funny. Those are only two recent shows that belong to the genre, and trust me, there is way more. Just look at the genre scroll page on any anime website and you'll know what I mean. Alas, the question may still remain in your head. Does the rom-com genre have enough power to overtake isekai? Well, not yet. Rom-com needs a couple more heavy hitters before I can confidently say it's more popular than isekai. But I believe in the next year or two we might see a shift away from isekai and towards rom-com. Only time will tell if I'm right. Maybe two years down the road I'll make a follow-up video that's either a celebration of me being super damn smart or completely stupid. Either way, I hope you all enjoyed listening to my thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe. I make anime and Japanese related content bi-weekly and would really appreciate the support. It's been fun guys, I'll see you next week.